Hello, my fellow students. This is our second lesson on hanja. Hanja is the use of Chinese characters in Korean writing. Hanja is not used especially often in Korea today, but centuries ago, Korean was written entirely in Chinese characters. It didn't work all that well. Uh, so the great King Sejong invented the modern writing system that Korea uses today. Some Chinese characters have stuck around, though. The interesting thing about Chinese writing is that each character represents an entire word, not just a letter. And there's something really appealing about being able to express an entire word in just one little picture. One place where you will see a lot of Hanja characters is in newspapers and news articles. In particular, when they are writing the names of countries. But not all countries, just some of the ones that tend to be reported on the most often. Here they are. Let's start with South Korea. It looks like this. This part is the symbol for country. We're going to see this one a lot today. I think it kind of looks like a map, and that's how I remember that it means country. The big square is the paper, and all those little lines are like roads and rivers. That is a lake. This is what I do when I'm trying to learn Hanja. I try to turn the character into a picture that relates to the word it represents. So this one is a map of a country. And this means Han, which is the name of the major river in South Korea. South Korea is known as Han country. To say South Korea in Korean, it is Hanguk. Guk is the word for country. This character looks like two stick figures holding hands. Or should I say, holding Hans? Ha <laughs> ha. These stick figures are even wearing traditional Korean hats. Now, North Korea has the character for Han in it too. And this one means North. North Korea is north of the Han River. In fact, you may encounter any of the four cardinal directions in Hanja, so let's learn all of those. First of all, north. It makes me think of the North Pole, where Santa's elves are, are living. And this is a picture of an elf's legs and an elf's shoes, like on the cover of the movie Elf. Now, south. I see this as a church. That's the walls and the roof, and that's a cross on top, and this thing inside, it looks like a sheep. And this helps me remember south because in the southern US, people are more religious. West, this, uh, it looks like this. Um, this is one guy getting lowered into a tank of water and another guy running away. I don't know what that has to do with west, but that is what I see. It's getting kind of difficult. East. Okay, here is one that I can explain. Did you ever notice that the country to the east of Korea is Japan? Japan is written like this. Do you remember this character from our first Hanja lesson? It looks like a window and it means sun. Japan is the land of the rising sun. Have you heard that before? Land of the rising sun? and the red circle on its flag represents the sun. And well, where does the sun rise? In the east. The character for east is what you get when you put the two characters for Japan on top of each other. Mind blowing. All right, now the country where this whole writing system originated, China. Oh, and another character that we remember from last time, middle. We know this one too. It looks like a map. It means country. China means middle country. Why do they call it that? Well, the Chinese called themselves middle country because from where they stood, there was land to the east, land to the west, to the south, to the north. And where were they standing? Well, in the middle, of course. 
From your own perspective, you are always standing in the middle of the world. When the English created modern time zones, they used England as the middle of the world. People are always seeing things from their own perspective. We are the centers of our own universes, and that is how China came to be called Middle Country. Speaking of England, check out how you write that in Hanja. Again, we have the character for country, and I swear, this is a British soldier. It looks exactly like a British soldier. Exactly. And finally, the United States of America. Again, there it is. Country, country, country. But what's this? This is the Chinese character for beautiful. What a nice compliment. If you see this character all by its lonesome, it just means beautiful. So those are the countries that you will encounter when reading the news in Korean. And they're usually shortened to just one character, like so. South Korea is just Han. North Korea is just North. Japan is just sun, China is just middle, England is just English, America is just beautiful. It might seem confusing to give these countries names with double meanings, but remember, Korean is very contextual. You should be able to figure out what you're reading based on context. Although, it is a little funny to think that when the president of Korea makes a trip to Japan, the newspapers publish, the president of Korea is flying to the sun today. Oh, I do love these Hanja lessons. Thank you for studying with me. Check out my merch. There are charts linked in the description. And again, chingudol, thank you for studying with me.